As hip hop is full of heated arguments, Rick Ross's brawl with Drake recently sets the speed mark for all such conflicts. As the seemingly innocent exchange of words has transitioned into a bombardment of conflicting accusations regarding racism and other unconventional matters such as cosmetic surgeries and illicit drugs use. The feud between Drake and Rick Ross was concentrated on a sold song. Drake, which was purportedly made fun of Drake, titled Push Ups, Drop and Give Me 50. This relatively short song was a battle stage where Drake attacked fellow artists such as Kendrick Lamar and Metro Boomin and shot his lyrical artillery to Rick Ross. But before moving further in it, can you please take a moment to press that red button to subscribe for more interesting and latest videos. Now let's roll back to our video. Drake's lyrics unveil Ross as a lost star and a shadow of the good old days. Drake's new tracks are his chart toppings, which do not please Ross. Rick Ross strikes back. Unlike Rick, who never takes any step back when problems settle, Ross didn't let Drake say the last words with such a battle in lyrical language. Quickly, Ross put his own booster piece out, which was titled Champagne Moments. In this scathing rebuttal, Drake twisted the knife by accusing Drake of appropriating culture, using ghostwriters, and even plastic surgery. Nevertheless, the most unequivocal charge in terms of the song was when Ross accused Drake of having autoplasty to change the formula of his nasal cavity, which Drake passionately denied. Drake's influential career. Before proceeding through the motive of conflict, it is necessary to highlight the caliber of influence Drake has played in the music industry. Aubrey Drake Graham, October 24, 24, 1986, 1986, is not just a versatile rapper, but also a pop artist who is very influential and unique in his expressive nature. Rising to fame through his role as Jimmy Brooks in the CTV teen drama series, Degrassi, when he was just at the beginning of Road, he with Drake started a music career in 2006, 2006. This mixtape, Room for Improvement, was the starting point towards a very impressive career of his that later saw him releasing over and exceeding the success of his comeback season and so far gone projects. He then joined the Young Money Entertainment label, and this greatly pushed him into superstardom that is now evident in the release of some of his albums, including Thank Me Later, Take Care, Nothing. Drake unveils his entrepreneurial side by launching his record label. Ovo Sound and collaboration with Nike, Sprite, and Virginia Black Whiskey. He manifests his power beyond music through his influence on the Toronto Raptors as their global ambassador, as well as last year, the soccer club, carrying which sits in Drake's rebuttal. Looking for a means to respond to the scathing charges that crossed Rick Ross's path, Drake utilized his digital platform, his social media, to tackle the narrative forthrightly. About how he learns the facts of life, on his Instagram story, Drake shares the images of the text message with his mother, Sandy Graham. This is where Sandy, in all innocence, questions the truthfulness of the news about Drake's nose job, and she reproaches her son for not letting her know about such a thing. For her defense, he throws out the name of the rapper who usually provides such claims and attributes, the further ones to Rick Ross's supposedly unhealthy psychological condition, the social media saga. The feud between Drake and Rick Ross, which goes beyond as seen from the war of words via diss tracks, and it cleans up in the social media world where both artists use social media to engage in more attacks of each other. Drake's Instagram story post, where he talks about Ross's allegations, gets massive responses, sparking hot engagement that fueled the majority discussion among fans and individuals who work in the entertainment industry. Why should Drake be above Rick Ross? As expected, the latter immediately followed suit on his Instagram story and humiliated Drake for what he called out of his wits counsel from his mom, Alexandra Graham. In view of a full presentation of the conflicts of Drake and Rick Ross, it is appropriate to put their rivalry in the context of a progressive, broader historical backdrop. Hip hop feuds have always been around, some even becoming the ultimate source of inspiration. The ground from which rappers show their talents or drive their creativity and innovation to the next level. The days when hip hop was marked by the rivalry between the East Coast and the West Coast of the USA in the 1990s is now long gone, but such a competitive character of hip hop still exists since artists like Drake and Meek Mill's beef continues to be among the most talked about issues nowadays. Also, call and lyrical response has thick cultural roots within hip hop, coming back to the fountainhead of the genre in the streets of New York. Artists from a long time ago have demonstrated their influence and control with their number of lyrics, while cursing someone perceived to be in the sideline or countering rivalries.
The exchange between Drake and Rick Ross in this situation is a classic example of the tradition that has been inherent for ages and has eventually gained traction in the hip hop music culture, though its present rendition features its own variants. Analyzing the social impact. Next to the actual hip hop realm, this feud will make echoes around the entertainment industry. It will not let go of public attention, causing fire topics on social networks. Many people are so fascinated with the artist's lives and artistic abilities that they find various kinds of proof and arguments in favor of their fan theories and critics' opinions. In-depth analysis. As Drake and Rick Ross continue to battle it out, hip hop tends to be the battlefield of solitary acts. At first glance, this issue seems to be just a line of lyrics, which have since developed into a large-scale scandal. Both artists have already become involved in the conflict, and a large number of arguments have taken place. While the veritable origins of the feud may remain shrouded in mystery, one thing remains abundantly clear. The pending rivalry of Drake and Rick Ross represents the set of interests for fans anywhere, and therefore, the hip-hop drama has been sustained as long as the music has. Furthermore, Rick Ross, who claimed on TV that Drake underwent cosmetic surgery and altered the beak on his nose, actually directly communicated this to Drake's mother, Sandy Graham. My first thought was disbelief, not quite trusting the claim in a screenshot published by Drake himself. On Sunday, April 14th, Drake put a series of exchanges with his mother on social media into motion, in which she asked him if she could help him find out what actually happened and if he had any idea where this allegation that he had had a nose job came from. Sandy's statement was a surprise because it showed she lacked belief in Drake's ability to make such critical decisions without her. She used humor to depict this by also implying that she had expected Drake to at least inform her beforehand. In this case, the response Drake offered was that asking him, us, where he'd grown up was in fact not true because of Rick Ross's mental health issues, which according to him was not so good. It was after the release of a diss track, Push Ups by Drake dissing Rick Ross, Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin, and others. That latter did not take silence for long. Ross fired back very fast with a counter, champagne moments, and claimed in it some the surgeon who helped Drake in nose job similarities to reduce the resemblance to his African-American father who... And with that, our video comes to end. Don't forget to subscribe.